Welcome back to the channel folks and to my response video to Harry from Fog of War's Dice of Doom challenge. Like me, Harry often hears the dark laughter of the dice gods as they dash his hopes on the tabletop. So he thought it would be fun to create a challenge for other gamers like myself and like anyone else who's watching who wants to put their own response up to see if our dice sort of really are as bad as we like to cry into our beers about after each game. I've put a link down below in the description to Harry's original challenge video. If you've not seen it, check it out. Now this challenge, as Harry says, is non-scientific, but you know, let's face it, most of our games are not very scientific either. They're all about the drama, you know, the excitement, the, the, the tension of that dice roll. And you know, that's something we would miss if dice weren't in the game but it also means you have to live with the pain as well as the joy. Personally, I would say my own luck tends to even out, but at certain critical points, that's where the dice scores really put the boot in for myself. You know, the points in the games where you have got yourself into a great position. You know, you've worked hard, maybe taking some pain to get to somewhere you can perhaps make a game winning move. And then the dice scores say, no, not today, not for you. Now before I roll my own dice of doom, I'm going to show you a couple of clips from games that aptly describe the, uh, the, the things that go wrong for me in terms of dice rolling. It's not over the whole game, it's these critical moments. Getting around the flank of a King Tiger and getting the, the best possible Soviet assault unit and against one of the worst German assault units. Let's see what happens. Going. See them, but not be seen by them. Then these have used a smooth ride, whatever the hell they call it these days, to get shots down at King Tigers, but I cannot get to short range. So it's going to be six dice looking for fours, because they're aggressive. Dice Rage! <laughs> Dice Rage! No, nope. oh, and then two on two that guy. Yep. Yeah. So, he's away. Now I have to motivate to counter attack. See, you can do everything right, folks, but if the dice say nah, um, and then in the factory, no. no. Right, folks, do I run away again? Unbelievable. <laughs> now, I break off again. It's just absolute. That's then rolled three ones in a row. You make it. So, yeah. uh, the one that's bailed will just be not doing so. Yeah. That one there can move up. So, you'll be able to do two attacks two on attacks. to one guy. Be four up. Four up. Oh, man. That one guy's dead. So do they stick around? No, they've rolled another one. So there you go, folks. Game winning chances just ripped away by the, the cruel dice gods. Now, those games, there's links to them in the description below. Those games are really interesting. And there's some crazy dice, um, dice moments in it, folks. Like, it totally changes the game all around. So they are in themselves great examples of the Dice Gods at work. But let's go over now to the Dice of Doom challenge and see how my dice roll. Oh, and I'm using three different sets of dice because I don't know about you, but I find that some dice sets can be luckier than others. Let's start with my Soviet dice. It can blow a little bit hot or cold, a bit unpredictable, but oh dear, looks like a bit of a Siberian winter there, folks. Not a promising start. Next up, Romanian dice. Now these dice tend to start off not too bad, especially when you're rolling for their variable training and motivation levels, but they can then get a bit unpredictable. Um, that's not going to do me very much, so I think the Romanians may have changed sides on me again here, folks. 
Lastly, the Feld Heron Halliday set. Now these tend to roll a hell of a lot of sixes for me. The rest of the time, you know, it could be anything, but seem to come up with a lot of sixes, but no. No. Put me under the spotlight, folks, and my dice fall to bits. So the totals, folks, a bit of an under par performance. Harry says 45 is a good average for 13 dice. I'm below average on all of them. Put my dice under the spotlight and this is what happens to them. Just let them do their thing and they're okay, but under the spotlight they go, oh, they get a bit nervous, start tripping over their own feet. So there it was 37, 42 and 35. The Romanian dice were the best, but they weren't the best of the best, if you know what I mean, they were the best of the worst. So a very poor performance for my dice on the day. Well, would you believe it, folks? I, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but I rolled worse than Harry. Uh, I normally wouldn't roll that bad if I roll that many dice. So the dice gods were saying, you know, don't get above yourself, uh, know your place. But anyway, let's see who the next person in the challenge is going to be and how they get on. So I want to nominate Rob from Valley Gaming. If you don't follow Valley Gaming already, folks, give them a sub, check them out, because they've got lots of games, lots of battle reports, with lots of these tense dice rolling moments. So, Rob, it's going to be over to you now to see if you can do, was it better or worse? We're not entirely sure who's the winner in this kind of setup, but let's see how the dice cards treat you and how you feel it, in, it affects you in your games. And if anyone else wants to put their own responses up, Please go ahead.